Hi class, uh, my name is Rialda Schulman and I will be with you uh, for the next five weeks teaching English 102. I understand that Professor Tenement was originally assigned to the course, but she could not um, do that due to personal reasons, so I'm here to pick up the course for her. But you are in somewhat good hands. I have been teaching at MECC since 2009 and I've taught hybrid courses such as this one for several years in a row and this is my second business cohort uh, class in English 102 so I previously taught this last year and um, so what we're gonna do since I'm unable to be with you for March uh, uh, on March 14th um, I'm gonna have three videos posted this is one of them and this one will go over briefly um, will go over the syllabus which you probably have in front of you it should be available to you on blackboard under syllabus and I'll explain some of the expectations from the course and how the course is gonna run and um, that's where I'm gonna end up with this video and then the next two videos are going to be about the two first two stories you have to read and respond about on uh, blackboard so I'm gonna give you essentially my lectures that I do in class, explain a few things, and um, tell you where to go to complete your homework assignment so that when we get back together on March 21st, we can continue on with some other stories that you have to read, but I'll explain that as we go along. So if you are, if you have your syllabus in front of you, then you can see uh, what my information is and what my um, contact information is. My office location is in Payne Hall 325. My phone is 792-5505, and my office hours are 12.15 to 1.10 on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Tuesday, Thursday, 12.40 to 1.35. I know that this is not ideal for you because I suspect that most of you are at work during this time, but if you wanted to call me instead of coming to the office with any questions or email me, uh, during that time I am available to, uh, to, meet, uh, to talk to you. Excuse me. So English 102 is the second sequence in English courses after the composition class and um, it's a little bit different from what you've done so far. So your English 101 it focuses mostly on uh, writing uh, perhaps personal narratives or constructing arguments or uh, perhaps you were concentrating on proposals or um, different kind of modes in writing. The um, English 102 is intro to literature class, so that means that in this class we will be essentially analyzing literature and uh, mostly we're going to focus on short stories and poetry. You are not going to need to purchase a book for this class, so all of the readings for the class are posted on Blackboard under course documents, course readings, and I uh, try to organize them in an order, right? So what you're going to see when you go in there is um, there's going to be the story that you read and then there might be um, you know some questions or a study guide right underneath the story to help you understand it a little bit better but all of it you're going to find under course readings and course documents so you're not going to need to purchase a book you will need a notebook when we get to class um, I like to write on the board a lot and uh, typically your quizzes which you will take in class as well will be based on mostly my notes uh, since we don't have a textbook, so it is something that I would encourage you to um, to do, which is to take notes, right? So some of the outcomes of the class are to utilize critical thinking, to create a document research project, to demonstrate an awareness and comprehension of how social, cultural, aesthetic, and intellectual issues raised in class are relevant to their own lives, uh, demonstrate uh, culturally specific heritages, perspectives, histories, and develop the skills to reasonably interpret a literary text what it really means, and I can sum it up for you in um, different kind of language, what it really means is that we're going to be reading stories and poems from mostly uh, Western countries, but half the world, right? So there'll be stories from, um, uh, there'll be American literature, and there'll be European uh, literature, and the same is true of poetry. And through those poems and stories, we're going to try to sort of understand some of the universal conditions of uh, humankind, okay? And we're going to talk about lots of our cultures and historical context. It's typically the big part of my class, so understanding the history behind a work or understanding the history of the time when the work was written, I find tends to be very helpful in approaching the work. Um, you will have to write a research uh, essay, which is difficult, I totally understand, uh, given that this is a five-week course, but it has been done before, and of course, as you know, it requires a lot of work on your part, but it is part of the course. I cannot change that requirement. 
and um, we'll have to sort of get used to using um, scholarly sources and MLA and the trip to the library will be part of our class as I'm sure it was in your English 101. Okay. So how is this class going to be taught? Obviously the format for this class is slightly different since it's partly a hybrid. I'm sorry, it's partly online and partly face-to-face. Uh, -face. We will meet every Wednesday for four hours and I will try during those times to cover, you know, everything that I want you to, to get out of the story or a poem, right? So I, I find that to be easier um, than to type all my lectures out and post it on hybrid and just let you deal with that, okay? So I will go over ev all of the readings for the class and then what you're going to find online is going to be um, homework assignments with questions, again, as a response to the stories or the poems you are reading. And uh, you might find study guides and things like that. Um, I'm going to post short videos about the stories or other people's lectures or um, just interesting videos that I think would help highlight a particular theme in the class. But most of the lectures will happen in class, except for this one. I will be in class. Um, I know that with the business cohort, you have a different sort of approach to, um, to this. I know that most of you work full time, um, but you because it's only a five-week course, you really should not miss, I mean, more than two. Two is like half of the semester practically, so that's bad enough. But um, if the attendance is really, um, uh, you know, poor, uh, that could threaten your standing in the class, and, and we don't want to do that, right? Um, you know, as far as emailing me and contacting me, you are welcome to do that because you are a business cohort and you're not on campus, but please try to reserve your emails for questions that you really cannot get answers for um, anywhere else. Uh, so I know you know each other and I know often students and business cohorts have Facebook pages together and, and different groups. So you are welcome to access those first until you get to me because I get so many emails every day that I can't always respond when you need my response and I find that um, it's really helpful if you contact other students first or check the syllabus to make sure it's there and when you exhausted all of the possibilities then you get in touch with me it just seems uh, to to be better that way um, I have a huge write-up in my uh, syllabus about plagiarism I am certain that you have covered this in English 101 to a certain extent but uh, the short story is don't plagiarize because you will be caught I use Blackboard um, and SafeAssign for all of the assignments you have to submit in this class to make sure that there's no uh, intentional and unintentional plagiarism happening, right? So sometimes it can be unintentional. Um, what that means, like, so what is plagiarism and how will we recognize? We'll, I'm going to dedicate a whole four hours uh, in one week and we're going to go over all of this in preparation for your research essay. So um, I will explain further. But essentially, if you go on the Internet for anything, and you shouldn't unless I tell you that it's okay, if you go on the internet for anything and if you look up ideas or, or examples and even if you put it in your own words you have got to cite the source right you cannot not cite the source that will be that will be plagiarism um, if you do plagiarize um, I give you a zero for the assignment and you cannot make it up if you plagiarize again you're out of the class so please make sure not to do that um, so all of the work that you're going to be submitting is going to be electronically, right? Instead, um, except for the quizzes which you will take in the class. While we're in the class, though, please limit the use of the cell phones to a minimum, right? Again, I understand you have families and because you're working full time and you might even be on call in some, certain situations. I absolutely understand. You know, you can leave it on vibrate, but, you know, excessive texting and checking the phone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, um, I'll probably say something to you if that's the case. Um, and that's pretty much sums up the kind of decorum of the class. In terms of the assignments, um, there are going to be two essays plus the research paper, so three together. And there will be, I believe, three quizzes in the class. Um, in addition to that, there will be homework. And the uh, homework um, will uh, just, they're, they're actually just questions that are asking you to think about the story that you've read in kind of a more deeper way, right? Type out your answer, submit it. I just want to make sure that you are engaging with the story, that you are reading the story, that you're understanding, and if there are things that you don't understand, again, that's fine too. It's something that we can talk about, but that's what the homework is going to consist of. Quizzes are going to test the terminology, right? So the language of literature, what is plot, what is exposition, what is a protagonist, what is an antagonist, as well as applying those um, those uh, terms to the text that we read and 
uh, analysis, right, since analytical and critical thinking is part of this class, you will be quizzed on those things. And now I can explain all of this um, as we approach that. Essays will be, as you probably guessed, about the stories and the poems that we read, and typically you will be asked to analyze something about those stories. I give very specific topics, so that's to help you narrow it down and to help you focus a little bit. Uh, but I am always welcome and open to suggestions in terms of topics. So if there's something that you wanted to do that is not necessarily listed on my sheet, is definitely something that we can talk about. The research essay is the culmination of your semester. So this is going to be longer, six to eight pages. You'll have to have the work cited page. You'll have to have the in-text citations to demonstrate that you understand these things. Again, I know that this is going to be very difficult, and it will be very difficult. You will be reading and writing a lot for the next four or five weeks. But... That is the nature of this course, right? Everything is condensed um, into five weeks, which I think you're very brave to do, but I'm glad that you are doing it. Um, quizzes, and then you'll see my grading policy, right? So it's essays at 35, two essays, 35%, research essays, 20%, quizzes are 10%, poetry assignment, which is separate and a little bit longer, is going to be worth um, 10%, homework is 15% together, uh, participation and in-class attendance 10%. So, um, you know, that's just to kind of give you a sense of where we are. And then if you look at the tentative calendar, so for March 14, this class, as you know, it starts, it's going to be available to you Sunday night. And so between Sunday night and when we meet on March 21st, you have some work to do. You have to watch this video about the syllabus. You have to read William Faulkner's A Rose for Emily and Flannery O'Connor's A Good Man is Hard to Find. These are both under um, course readings on, on course documents. And then you'll have to answer questions specifically on A Good Man is Hard to Find. So what you're going to do with homework, you're going to either print out the question for yourself or have them on the screen by typing your type out your answers on a separate Microsoft Word, you know, save it as homework, a good man is hard to find, and then you'll underneath, underneath each homework uh, with the instructions and the questions, you will see a link that says submit here. So when you are ready, you're going to go into submit here and attach it from your computer and hit submit, and it's fairly simple. Um, you can also access essay number one assignment in course documents, and that'll give you some sense of what your first essay is going to be about. And your first essay is not due on March 21st. It's actually due on March 28th. So you have two weeks or about three weeks to think about it, really. And I did that because I wanted to be in class to go over the stories with you when I come back, uh, the ones that you read and certain terminology, and to answer some of your questions <clears throat> because, you know, I always feel more comfortable, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, doing that um, with the students face-to-face, -face, okay? Um, and there is a handout intro to short stories also located under class readings. Again, um, this will give you some idea on the, on the terminology for the class. And there's, uh, I posted guidelines for essays, and that's typically addressing essays um, in literature courses such as this one. So what you should have, how you should approach it, etc., etc. And that concludes uh, this video and the syllabus overview. If you have any questions at all, please write them down. When we come back on the 21st, I'll be happy to answer them. I will see you then.